Greetings from New Zealand. My name is Axel Wilke. We are having a look at a signalized crossing point in Christchurch for pedestrians and cyclists so that they can get across a rather busy road with a good 20,000 vehicles per day. This is the um, Harper Avenue crossing connecting Little Hackley Park and North Hackley Park. Didn't take too long for those two cyclists to get a green light. This map shows how the uh, Harper Avenue crossing is located with respect to Hackley Park and the central city of Christchurch. It leads into one of the main pathways that goes straight into the central city and therefore the crossing point gets a lot of use. The crossing is located in close proximity to the Beely Carlton Harbour Park intersection, one of the busiest intersections in Christchurch. The previous operational concept was that the Harper Avenue crossing was coordinated with the Beely Carlton Harper Park intersection. Those two signalized intersections are 400 meters apart and with a cycle time of the main intersection of up to 120 seconds, the level of service experienced by pedestrians and cyclists at the crossing point was sometimes quite poor. That resulted in a poor signal compliance by cyclists and pedestrians at this crossing point. Several years ago, the uh, crossing point was taken out of the uh, signal coordination. So these days, the controller looks for gaps as soon as a crossing demand is placed. All four approach loops gap out independently with relatively short gap settings. What can be observed now is that the signal compliance for cyclists and pedestrians at this crossing point is very good. There's quite a bit of traffic on this road. How, and uh, there's a median which uh, may invite people to cross against the lights, uh, one side of the road only at a time not bother to wait for the lights um, but the compliance observed is um, very good and that is because the traffic lights are quite responsive so let's see how long it takes for the lights to go green and green didn't take very long six or seven seconds, I would think. It is standard practice in Christchurch that separate signal hardware for pedestrians and cyclists is provided. Pedestrians require a much longer clearance phase than cyclists, so when both pedestrian and cycle lights are operating, the pedestrian lights are in the clearance phase while the cycle phase keeps running on green which increases the level of service for cyclists. The pedestrian phase calls the cyclist phase, but not the other way around. If only the cyclist phase is demanded, that means that the signals can revert to the main road phase quite quickly. The um, pedestrian and cycle lights are separate and they are being operated separately so that the um, pedestrian clearance time can be taken into account and cyclists get uh, terminated just before the lights change to the uh, main vehicle phase. Cyclists get detected on the uh, detector loops which are cut into the uh, ground here adjacent to the holding rails and when a detection has happened, the uh, modified wall rocks here um, will uh, illuminate the light. The intersection is fitted with a call accept facility. 
this could be activated by two different means the call button could be used but at this particular location the uh, call is placed by detector loops only they work quite reliably and don't require cyclists to do anything right I'll use myself as an example of detection we are approaching the signals now and now I've just moved onto the loop and so the light goes on. What we've seen here is a responsive crossing point that provides a good level of service for pedestrian and cyclists and that is key to good um, signal compliance. The call accept feature that this crossing point has gives cyclists some confidence that something will happen for them soon and we use separate signals for pedestrian and cyclists because that minimizes the delay for motorists. If you have any questions about this presentation, please don't hesitate to get in touch with Axel Wilke from the Estrada. Thank you.